Hello everybody, my name is El Lo the Lobo Spriggan and welcome back to a new video where today I'm going to be playing Mega Man Dimension Neptunia V2 for the PS PlayStation 4. Now a little bit story on this before I had uh, Mega Dimension Neptunia V2R for the PlayStation 4 and um, I nearly had it because of, you know, virtual I had the VR headset. But, unfortunately, during that time, or not roughly during that time, but, unfortunately, one, one day there was, a, there was an apartment fire in my house, at my apartment a long time ago, and unfortunately, the connection for the VR headset got ruined because of that, so. At the time, I got rid of V2R, and then I think it was like a few months ago I saw that PlayStation was having a sale, and that and that V2, this one, the regular V2, was on sale for 4.99. So I figured I come back to this game in a sense that you know it's just going to be the regular edition instead of the Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 instead of the. V VR version, so let us play. <laughs> then I kind of got some of the DLCs that they have on here. Do, 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 do. And here we go. How long has it been since this world and I were swallowed by this dark vortex of delusion? Except it didn't swallow me. It was my doing. I threw myself willingly into this maelstrom. But it's pulled me down deeper and with more violence than I could have ever imagined. Give me an answer. Anyone, please. Save me. I wonder who that was. Zero Dimension Neptunia Z. Okay. So as you can see, there was there's uh there is multiple versions of the game to this. And we start off in the zero dimension of Neptunia. Game industry. A world which exists outside of our reality. Where four CPUs protect and rule above each nation. Indeed. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules Planetune. Planetune. The nation where CPU Black Heart rules Last Station. Last station. The nation where CPU Whiteheart rules, Louis. Louis. The nation where CPU Greenheart rules, Leanbox. Leanbox, baby. In the past, game industry had been exposed to threats such as the deity of sin and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. Yep. But thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. Yeah, it has. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. <gasps> Shock. <sighs> Taking a nap in the warmth of the planet Toon Sun is the best. I don't know about that, but you know, taking a nap in the warm sun is kind of good. Although, I kind of feel like I just had a super creepy dream. Just like how you always do in most of these games. Ah! 
What was that noise? If I didn't know any better, I'd say that sounded like something plastic slamming against the concrete. Uh, I mean, kind of. Hmm. I think he came from over there. Maybe I should go take a look. Sure. And so, here we find our heroine in a spooky back alley, shrouded in darkness in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. It isn't. <gasps> huh? Is that a voice? That was. Someone, anyone, save me! Save the zero dimension! <gasps> the zero dimension. Hello? Someone there? Come on, answer me! That's so weird. I could have sworn I heard it coming from around here. You did. Hmm? Wait, what's this on the ground? It almost looks like a game console? A game console. <gasps> but who even makes this? It's got a white body, a swirl mark. Even a sophisticated game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. Oh my god, I wonder what game console is that? Well, I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take a, I mean, deposit <laughs> this at the Basilicon for safekeeping. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, Nepgear! Looky look! I found a super cool vintage game console. Nepgear! Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later. Also, welcome home, Neptune. I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. Indeed. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Yep, you do. Neptune, where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. I will not forgive you today. <sighs> His toi. Instead of game industry, you know what that meant. Ah, it's Isti! Or Histi. This small fairy looking girl is Istoir. Or Isti, as I like to call her. You're, you're kind of the only one that calls her that. In, the, in these games. Planetune's first CPU created her in order to keep a record of the nation's history, and right now, she acts as Planetune's Oracle. Ah. She's cute until she opens her mouth and turns into a little dictator. It's a oh. character flaw that I'm going to talk to the writers about soon because... He... That's what? Neptune, listen to me. We're in the midst of a game industry shift period. And this is simply not the time for brash behavior. Ah, uh, come on, Isti. Lighten up. It's just a little old shift period. Wait, what is that again? Even though I have explained it so thoroughly, I will explain it once again. So please, listen. The CPU shift period is the season when citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow, instead of placing their faith in those already presiding. Here's a thought. Is, this, is, is the shift period... Um, kind of like... When E3, it's kind of like something around E3 because it's like E3 is when all the game consoles come together and you know show off their new designs and stuff. So, they're talking about that. We're currently in the window of time when rumors about the CPUs will begin circulating, tarnishing their reputations. Possibly, in fact, at this very moment. The other CPUs have been working relentlessly to prepare specialized teams to counter any allegations. Yeah, we know certain, certain companies do do that to, you know, make sure no leaks or nothing comes out to, you know, surprise the, surprise the person so that way they don't, like, choose otherwise. 
totally fine. This is Planetune we're talking about, Isti. My people love me. Yeah. Besides, isn't Noir the only one who's made an actual team? Vert has that MMO tourney, and Blonde has Rookie Novelist Awards coming up soon. <laughs> oh, Blonde. Dear me. Why is it that all the CPUs lack a mature and appropriate sense of danger? Mm, yeah, that sounds kind of true. Hey! Don't just lump me in with those lazy idiots, Istuar! <laughs> oh, by the way, this girl is Noir, the CPU of Last Station, the nation next door. She's a friendless, lonely soul. Aren't you, Noir? That's a little harsh. You shut up! <laughs> Never mind. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Neptune, think you can fix this console? It looks like it's pretty broken. Oh. I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like technology I'm familiar with. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Sis? <sighs> it cannot be helped. It appears I will be constructing a solution on my own for Planetune's safety yet again. Uh. Don't worry, Histoir. It's not really fully a problem. Anyone, please. Save us! What? Huh? N Neptune! Did you hear that? I think she. I think I did. Oh, I knew I heard something earlier. Good work, Neptune. Where's it coming from? <laughs> I may, this no, is gonna sound yeah. weird, but I think the voice came from inside this console. Possibly. Click. Oh. Oh, why'd you turn it on? Yikes! What in the what is this? Why are we getting swallowed up in our own room? Why'd you turn it on? Uh, 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 uh they're not, they're not, they're not getting swallowed oh, no. up pretty. What should we do? I can't move. Neptune! We're, We're getting sucked in. in! Yep. Great, great song, great music. Neptune, Neptune, please wake up. Huh? I'm, I'm sleeping. Neptune, please. Uh. Oh, come on, Neptune, give me ten more minutes. Only ten. This isn't the time to be sleeping. Look! Look around! What's going on? Ugh, you're so noisy. Wait, did Isti find out we're slacking off to fix that console? Has she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon? <laughs> well, why, first off, why would she do that? And then secondly, didn't she kind of already know? Because she's like, you know, we peep. They just said something about that. Huh? Yeah. Also, there's something off. There's, there, there's something off with our background here. It's not. Everything's destroyed. Yeah. Just a tiny bit. Oh right, right, right. This is just a dream. Okay. Well then, night nap gear. Turn the lights off on your way out. Okay. Um, if it's just a dream, then why did 
you tell Nepgear to turn off the lights. Oh, it's not a dream, Neptune! Get up! No, 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 this can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? Well, I mean, something said you were the Earthbed console just now opened up the portal to a new realm. I don't know. When I came to, we were just here. What happened? Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> all the games do that, right? Uh, Neptune, even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. I mean, this ain't a game, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Hey, there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. Sure. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah? Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. Oh, yeah, an event. That's the spirit. Let's go. By the way, uh, why'd you say an event, Nebgur? This is reality. Well, here we are. Let's see. Jump. Jump with the circle. Like a kangaroo. No, that's not what I want. Okay. Event, baby. Hmm. No one's around. Doesn't seem like it. Hmm, that's pretty weird. You'd think there would at least be a cat, a hologram, or something. Is a cat supposed to survive a nuclear apocalypse or something? Hey! Anyone here? Uh, that's gonna do something, Neptune. There's something really eerie about this place, Neptune. There is. Those cracks running through the streets and buildings don't seem like regular cracks. I mean... Clearly, I don't think the sky is supposed to be cracked like thunder. You're right. They're all green and pretty. I feel like if I stared at them long enough, they'd suck me right in. Yeah, you don't want that. There are similar cracks in the sky, too. It's almost as if the fabric of space and time itself has cracks in it. Hmm, I wonder if that's true. And these buildings, they feel familiar. Kind of like some of the ones we have back in Planetune. N no it couldn't be. Maybe? Hmm. Would Planetune look like this if we were to enter an apocalypse? I mean, hey, take a good look at it. D don't say things like that! That's bad! I mean, at least, it'll be, at least if this happens, you could prepare. But when I look more closely, I don't recognize any of these areas. So I don't think it's Planetune. Oh. Doi! Come on, little Nap. That city's my backyard! I'd recognize it if I was walking around it blindfolded! Not unless you lost your memory, Neptune. Well, it does us no good to keep brooding here. Forward march! Indeed. Where does her confidence come from at times like this, I wonder? Ah, uh, you My confidence, you ask? It's obviously because I'm the main character. Of course. No matter what happens, we'll make it through with my protag rule set. Oh, yeah. I hope so. You don't have to hope so, much. Oh. Uh oh. Ahem. <clears throat> that was just k kind of loud, is all. <laughs> it's just a run of the mill first battle baddie. Is it? See, Neptune, my protag rule set has found local person number one. It's not a local person. Oh, Neptune! We can converse with it. It's full of murderous intent. It sounds like it. Uh, I guess so, huh? Yeah. And here I thought we'd finally run into someone else besides us. Uh huh. But if the enemy is raring to go, we've no choice. Nepgear, let's transform and stop it. Right. Behold my power. Processor unit. Um. Um. 
Yeah. Huh? What happened? But nothing happened? Nothing is. <laughs> and he, see, even the monster guy says, like, what was that? Ouch. Ah! Hey, that's dangerous. Oh, I see. You don't know it's against the rules to attack during a transformation sequence. I mean, you should, should have transformed already, then. I don't think a monster will understand even if you tell them that. I don't know why we can't go HDD, but we have to take care of the enemy in front of us first. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay. Indeed. Please set the following members in the front, Neptune and Neptune. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Equipment. Alright, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That. How's Ooh. that? Go with this one. I'll keep it. I'll keep it with that. Uh, hey, da 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 da. You guys go together. Oh, actually, no. Wait, is that? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Nip gear. Not you guys yet. Not you guys yet until I find another party member. Let's start the tutorial battle. Everyone, use this fight to learn the basics, alright? Okay, it's a promise. Sure. I've never seen this monster before. It looks strong. I'll have to focus. Sure. Never fear, Nepgear. This is a tutorial battle, <laughs> so no matter how crazy they look, we'll win. You sure about that? Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting. Are you very sure about that? Oh, crap. Okay. It's my turn. All right. Let us just attack for now. Owie! Oh, okay. I'll be serious. Just now we No, what should I do? Just not waste any HP yet. And we did it. Ne Neptune was right. We did. Justice will always win. HDD. Yep. But why couldn't we transform? Oh! Oh? What's up, Neptune? Neptune, it's our shares! I thought something was weird. I can't feel our shares at all. Oh, no. Yeah, right. I trounced a certain noir in a character ranking contest. That popularity is like the source <sighs> of our shares. So, to be missing... <laughs> That's ridiculous. I think so. It's gone. It is. What? Why? Shares are the faith people have in CPUs. It's impossible for them to be at zero. <gasps> it's almost like you're in a dimension that's called zero dimension. Gasp. Unable to transform in a post apocalyptic horror world like this, we're going to be sterilized. You guys are. Please calm down, Neptune. I mean, I wouldn't be calm. Also, that monster we just fought, have you ever seen anything like it before? I don't think so. That super gross mutant bug thing? Nope. And I kind of wish I never had. What about you? I don't think she has either. It was my first time too. Oh. Unfamiliar monsters in an unfamiliar land. Where the goodness are we? Can we actually get out of here alive? 
I hope so. I've tried contacting Eastwar, but the end gear keeps dropping out of range, so I can't connect to the phone or the internet. Ah. It, it'll be just fine. You worry too much. Just leave everything to your big sis. Oh, uh, yeah. And let's be real here. Roaming around strange new lands, beating up monsters is way better than working at a boring desk. That's true, I'll give it that. Tune. I think you only feel that way because you hate working. Mm, partially. Just, the only thing I hate is not having fun. <laughs> Come on, let's make the most of this, little sis. Neptune, I don't know if I can have fun, but I'm sure we'll be fine if we're together. Yes, indeed. There we go. You look way cuter when you smile. Let's keep moving. She does. Okay. Teach me history. Within dungeons, enemy symbols are wandering about. You will begin a battle when you touch these enemy symbols. You can attack with your weapon by prison X. If you hit the energy symbol with your weapon, the battle will begin with an advantage of your party and call the symbol attack. If you're touched by an enemy mid-swing or you attack from behind, it will be called back attack. So be careful. 